Okay. Judge ready. Framework. The rule of the ballot is a vote for the debater that presents the best policy option to clarify. We don't defend that the state is good, but rather that defending the state teaches us vital advocacy skills. Next in 2K. Policy specifies how an institution will just response the consequences. Policy can force change especially when we bring committee organizing into the process. Organizing is about changing rules. Can we fight the rise of corporate abuses or win racial justice without contesting policies? The answer is no for people of color. Families are being pushed by new policies, so we got involved in policies, defense focus, committee organizing, leverage is power writing, ordinances that address problems in organizing, support local policy arenas where activists find success. Uh, by getting the policy in our advance, can't become along with your consequences, this regards struggles with your oxy resistance by decision makers. We need to turn the information that affects the public conversation. Move beyond fighting problems on a framing solutions. Prefer uh, a point the mindset of the policy doesn't impact the way it is implemented, so it is irrelevant to policy discussion to make them way tangible impacts. This, this adds to the app. B point the educational skills we generate from role playing is key to being able to solve their impacts in the real world. C point policy making solves the root cause, allows us to view problems from multiple perspectives so we can better tackle problems of oppression. And the standard is combating structural violence epistemologically. Precedes norm of ethics, young 74. Representation encourages the expression of individual interests that appeal to justice. Social privilege allows some perspectives to dominate while others decide that social whether they claim is just as best way to those making it must confront others as a person of social privilege. I must listen to the voice by the uh, privilege otherwise silences and role playing as public actors shatters after the end. Political alienation, which, which is critical to incite change. Mitchell 2K. When we assume the other in performance, we tap into who we are by experimentation and identity construction. Role play helps students discover divergent viewpoints and overcome stereotypes and they examine subjects from multiple perspectives. Individuals live out. They Variety of possibilities guarantee your friend equality in the widespread acceptance by citizens of political and our self identities by opening discursive spaces for students to explore their identities, stimulated public arguments, provide occasions for students to appraise the merge aspects of their political identities. Abstract questioning is useless. Debate to seek to design concrete alternatives. Brian 12. Abstract critique ignore the mediations belong to the social and material context in which human beings develop the law. The full spread abstraction is good at critiques that now social formations that we're proposing realistic alternatives. Our plan seems to be phase one radical critique, phase two question mark, phase three social. Transformation we seem stuck at phase one often the critique is right, but to reach phase three, we have to produce new collectors. People need to be able to hear and understand the critique. We use them in ways that only a PhD can understand. We don't have distribution, give talks and expense of love. Tell us again who are, are these things for this revolution is front of the capitalist state, drive people to the reigning ideology, then to undermine we never make concrete proposals, material infrastructures need to be produced. Plan. In this status quo, universities utilize vague sexual harassment definitions to shut down discussions, whether productive or not, to minimize administrative liability. This hinders productive challenges to campus a soul culture to bar 15. Down on grids, campus communities brought latitude to gen change uh, charging gender discrimination. The lines are wielded by legalistic wings for fear of liability and bad publicity rather than uh, protect the individuals harmed by sexual harassment. The level of corporatism procedure sacrifice the needs of humans and needs of institutions students, uh, students dictate punitive speech goes those efforts divert attention from the material politics, the campus quiet voices and plan text. Public colleges and universities in the United States should remove restrictions on any non-abusive sec uh, speech regarding sexual harassment. To clarify, the plan amends status quo Title IX definitions of sexual harassment to clearly define what constitutes sexual harassment so universities can't decide the distinction AUP 16. The proposal distinguishes speech defined as sexual harassment from protected speech. Sexual conduct constitutes sexual harassment on one. Events or requests are made under circumstances implying one or response might affect educational or decisions or two speeches. Obviously, for three speeches, regardless of offensive and appears opportunity, if in the teaching context, it must be persistent and not germane to the subject matter. They continue using the term sexual violence broadly does not adequately distinguish sexual harassment word in most speech. Uh, teaching, research, and extramural speech protected by academic freedom are excluded from definitions of sexual harassment. And the advantage is sexual assault. Scenario one is rape law. Title IX results in silencing classes that discuss controversial subjects like. Rape law AUP3. Instructors open units are really ball out of fear that students get as the content is too destructive after long feminist campaigns to include rape law in the law school curriculum. The topic has become difficult to teach discussions of consent of how uh, social inequality is biased. The assessment of crime uh, is being perceived as disrespectful. And the 1AC challenges oppressive ideologies about race, rape, and stereotypes to addressing the root of supremacy. Dead about 14. The classroom is where future legal professionals will have substantial power form. Ideas about rape it is important future lawyers have discussed reluctance to teach. Rape law cannot be diverse from the tendency to presume that one or the soul survives the sexual. Also, to realize rape accusations reluctance to address the rape of black women is rooted in stereotypes of black women. Licentiousness, the classroom should serve as a site where stereotypes are confronted. Uh, expression of experience that an identity can destabilize legal objectivity requires those with the uh, dominant view to account for their perspective. And scenario two is student journalism. Current vague Title IX definitions are used to silence student journalists who expose sexual assault perpetrators and challenge campus rape culture. The Wolf 16, in an effort to avoid loss of money, college administrators have taken law too far in interpreting Title IX to include speech that students find offensive, could threaten constitutionally protected speech. University administrators are preemptively 
aggressively and aggressively policing free choice, structural context, this is implementation definitions for not of expanded drastically despite rulings by Supreme Court, was just run after the description of sexual harassment ever over in academic freedom, free speech, rights, vagueness, rights, lack of ownership, that pushes caution administrators there on the side of caution, this confusion causes student journalists to self censor in an effort to avoid being disciplined. Uh, attempting to publish where sexual assault has occurred was marked several times to cross the in violation of Title IX. This information is crucial. There could be clear indication of harm areas on campus and according to newspapers to comply with Title IX restrictions free speech on campus and prevents student journalists from reporting key information regarding sexual assault that occurs on campuses. There is a criminal chilling effect of being interpretation of sexual harassment. Anything could be considered sexual harassment under OCR's definition. Under VR, assumptions are based on empirical experiences. Went to 2K. Not even the most hardened bros modernists have denied objects of everyday existence. They just don't know Cassie says, believe that her cats are realized and able to deal with them. And she used empirical observation to test the truth of her theory of cats and representation arguments destroy effective political action. Only by embracing modernist truth claims can we avoid relativism and establish a coherent understanding of the world. Jarvis 2K. Modernist discourse did not know effective can make autonomous corrections against your revisionist history, identify injustices, crimes of institutional extent, representation of groups that were otherwise not previously represented. Postmodernism regards no great mind to postulate that the use of discourse is simple assumption that social change can be engineered through uh, in a linguistic policing of politically incorrect word is one of the more politically idealist language is not in the end incompatible with the project of theory knowledge and takes us farther away from an understanding of our world. The world. Huh? Yeah. What do discussions about putting uh, our argument is is that specifically you can look to our scenario one, which indicates that there are classes that discuss rape law, and in the status quo, professors are not able to teach these classes because whenever they vaguely talk about sexual harassment, universities simply shut them down. Universities don't want any discourse. But how does that actually like? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, rape? Like you're going on. With right. I'm explaining how the app allows it. Right, so in the status quo, universities want zero discussions of sexual assault on campuses because when these discussions occur, they lose funding. Because Title IX uses these vague, uh, these vague discussions of sexual assault to simply remove funding because they perceive that sexual assault is occurring on these campuses. Our argument is is that whenever these discussion, these discuss productive discussions of sexual assault are key on college campuses, so that university professors can teach students how to uh, effectively argue within rape law cases and win those court cases in the real world. Wait, so professors teaching about rape law allow students to be able to win their own rape cases? Right. Okay. That's uh, uh, that's it. Individuals who are survivors of sexual assault that don't want to go. How does that help them? They don't. They don't. Uh, survivors of sexual assault who. Uh, so the so it's a question of setting court precedents, i.e., our AUP three. So there's multiple arguments. Our AUP three evidence indicates that whenever these professors teach these students things, it not only allows them to win court cases, which creates legal oh, precedents. Like, okay. Right. But I. I. Like, I. Let me. What's the importance of court cases? Right. I'm saying one. Court cases set legal precedents. Not only that, our Denbal evidence indicates that whenever these discussions occur within classrooms, it helps us challenge the identity of people, i.e., whenever rich white males enter these uh, law classrooms, they're, they're still shapeable. The professors okay, can but shape you're not their views. Responding to my question, which is what about individuals who are dealing with rape or, or like survivors of rape who don't want to go into Right, so I'm saying that we not only uh, have offense through court cases, but we solve for a culture of bigotry within the classroom, which helps which helps remove the rape culture on campus. Solve for white boys being right. So our argument is is that currently the definition of sexual assault on campuses is vague. So whenever a professor talks about it, the university is immediately able to shut them down. Professors have been fired because they productively uh, attempt to talk about sexual assault. Our argument is is that we now clearly define sexual assault so that when universities, uh, so the test universities use to like fire professors when they talk about sexual assault is more clear. They can't simply fire them if the professors are attempting to productively challenge campus rape. So our argument is that so uh, the plan right. Our solvency advocate is very good on this issue. It indicates that there's, yeah, there, it indicates that there's three conditions of speech that is not productive. The first is that any advances made that could affect educational outcomes, i.e., if Wait, someone, what is that? This, is uh, this is the AUP 16 evidence, indicates that whenever, okay. whenever people I'm talk, gonna take the uh, you don't want me to finish the end. Nope.
Y'all are good. Uh, one off, AC. Chris is both invisible, so as well as the ostracized other one. You create a valid narrative of the world. You reject those who do not see it as you do. Sociality is based upon these binarizations. Yep, in 13, some subscribe to pervasiveness of binds based upon being seen as the other. This creates groups that are deemed less important unless human based upon historically situated markers of social formation, such as race, class, gender, sexuality, ability, nationality, other and are some invisible, center normalizations, the process of constructing an all encompassing scenario to measure desirability through heteronormative discourse, life forms are creating this one through regimes of knowledge of power, heteronormativity is quintessential life force and creating, perpetuating erasure and oppression of sexual others. You victims on all spaces of life here remains our gene. Invisible heteronormativity refers to institutions that make heterosexuality seem not only coherent, but privileged heteronormativity makes heterosexuality hegemonic through normalization, not only the experience of those who must learn to survive where violence exists in individuals living in the heteronormative machine learn to conform their uh, learn to conform their suffering to survive the power. The process of coping by repressing pain is a powerful mechanism for heteronormativity to perpetuate in the face of the world predicated upon the destruction of queers who refuse to participate in your militant regime to find the truth for every alternative is radical communication. We will affirm ourselves in support and say from one of the states of political apparatus that serves these power relations into a transcendent entity and power to enact violence as apparatus is foundationally by an merely exceptionally said the queer is vulnerable in everyday life and in every space this whole world is towards queer death queer nation in 1990. Year after year I realized the facts of my life are irrelevant of a penetrated greater world of power privilege world of exclusion and those left out fight for inclusion while inside come to the RDR are men due to women wise who much and everyone does the queer the main divine lines family we are punished if we try to if we sing gates live more sense around by bomb less only we seem to hear our bodies and souls are dead from fright or bash or rape dying of grief or disease stripped of our personal let the figure out where they deserve to be clear during error that mean less turning fingers to never do they like by saying I'm not like there if you focus on the negative you gave out more power you're not the only one in the world you're suffering for you better good queers don't get mad we hide it even for myself you got yourself angry that price of disability is a threat of violence there's no place where you're safe no place where you're not targeted from the self hatred class until things change you do not need any more evidence of the world to say your expense go away from me until you change trying to roll without strong careers are its back the are its backbone this is also gonna be linking really hardcore to the AC when you are a depending upon legal structures to be able to find any solace when there are many survivors of sexual assault who don't think that legal processes are good for them i.e. like me, I am an individual who has served by sexual assault, who thinks that, or who like didn't go through these legal systems. You only give one valid way to actually deal with this, but you also find yourself within the realm of productivity, i.e. we always have to be going further, we always have to be creating something. This is always going to be perpetuating forms of reproductive futurism, which harm the queer. You never give a sciatic definition of what productive is, rather you define what sexual assault is within the uh, uh, the card that you were talking about within cross-sex. That doesn't define what productive speech is, rather you are going to impose what you think Think is productive on it. This all went, this also harms discussions around sexual assault because if they don't involve legal issues, then we don't want to hear about them. We don't want to hear survivors talk about how to act, how they are like healing themselves or helping themselves. Rather, we only want to talk about them if they want to go to court position the queers and negative totalizing after rejection wants to be at war with the one I see Mary Nardini gang two thousand nine. The position of opposition to disability that prompts the limits of identities defined against the dominant narrative, the white hetero patriarchal false white family, those who march as queers, the abnormal strange and dangerous cohesion, a couple with the heterosexual capitalist world, queers, total rejection, achieve the normal, normal, tyranny, violently, irradiated every day. So, to, uh, we must create space for this possible desire to flourish this requires conflict with social. We must understand that this means to hold and negate. Oh, I cut the, I clipped the card a little bit. Sorry. Um, you cut the card at normal, it's tyranny. Gets the point. Uh, on your practicality arguments and framework policy options aren't always the best way also it doesn't solve for the root cause of it, which is uh, people raping not these types of ideologies or what the law is doing but rather when white men enter the space they don't feel unsafe like or like non-white not like non-white non-men do 
that your like root cause claim is really bad. But on the practicality arguments from the AC, they perpetuate the same issues of exclusion within this rhetoric. Our existence is counterfactual and not convenient. It's not practical to be queer. The academy is obsessed with practicality to deny the ephemerality of meaning by screaming at the top of our lungs that pragmatism works. Fuck that. Embracing practical leave the stagnant waters of the academy by embracing our philosophy on the fly at Halber Sam in 13. Practical is limited to what we can already imagine. This opens up the impractical as a space of possibility. Practical could become practical if conditions change. Change should break with the stagnant though. It can already be imagined to access new life. The existing conditions which lost our identity were imagined to have changed so radically that new life can be lens our test enough to know this news, but rather to impose upon the chaos only as much as our forms and needs require. So since alibis for the centrality of hegemony, hegemony of heterosexuality is faded away, we can see heterosexuality and homosexuality for what it is state to prove. And we see regrain and recognition to our conforming for norms we are in need for a new politics capable of addressing pressures and values that we project onto gender bodies and functions that they either refuse hi the hierarchy within our academic production where those by who draw maps of domination are cast of geniuses and those who study your system are seen as dudes in new era theories emerge a wild theory within which is called and thinkers and artisan I experiment with knowledge, art, and imagination while theories fail disciplinary knowledge. Uh, cut the card of knowledge. Before we can do any of the or any of the post fiat implications of the plan, we have to destroy the world, destroying everything is what we do, must do before anything is possible. Keegan. Certain LGBT positions are becoming widely incorporated into American nationalism, tyranny to queer refusal to queer negativity that demand for positive queer images falls in line with the further elaboration of this disciplinary power, which has rendered alternative modes of living unthinkable queer subjects are invited to join the nation's will to empower queer people must commit ourselves to the scrutiny of naive utopian formations emphasizing power of queer negativity or rejection of sufficient futures. Queer does not capitulate the social, rather, the social center through queer transformations clearing the way for something more expansive. Uh, cut the card expansive. Let's go to the AC. First, uh, don't prefer the, uh, the role of the ballot should be who uh, best pro provides the best uh, method for dealing with existence within modern sociality. This is achieved or this is attempted by the affirmative, but we believe that policy actions like ones that are driven by the state will never be able to fully address the issues that are li that we are living with within modernity, i.e. queer marriage has passed, but we still don't, or like we are still murdered on the street. Trans people are still violently murdered. Policy options, while they may be good and maybe a useful strategy, aren't the only strategy we should be looking for. We refuse your, that we have, or your implication that we only have liberation through policy options. That's pretty messed up. You can still have your policy. You just have to wait against what the, uh, you just have to wait against the alternative. Also, your whole entire argument about uh, concrete standards doesn't mean anything. It doesn't make any sense, seeing as your entire position is based upon these not or like is based upon these non-concrete solutions for these issues. You are trying to talk about how we're going to solve more it, but through uh, like teaching people like correct definitions, but rather that doesn't actually solve rape. That is only academic speaking and trying to say that oh we are actually doing something whilst remaining silent in the face of people who are saying no. We need actual support systems. We need people who are on campus who will willingly talk to us and who will give us support when we actually need it, not just say go to the cops, because the cops haven't done shit for us in the past. Um, on, uh, yeah, on the, our current assumptions are based on upon exper imperial experiences. Sure, I'm giving you a concrete imperial experience. I didn't find that going to the police was safe. It's normalizing that as the only method that we have of resisting or being able to find safety within ourselves through these changing of definitions or focus on this is bad. Bad politics. Cool, I'm good for cross. Yeah, is everyone ready? Mm-hmm. What is the world about? Uh, wait, first, before we start process, can you do one thing you Oh, sure. is a negation of everything. What does that mean? Uh, that means an affirmation of ourselves within this war against everyone else, i.e. when we are like raped, we do not go to the police if because we believe that like the police are necessary to affirm ourselves. Rather, we go to the police if we think that that is like the best strategy for us. We so, reject so these forms of imposed legality. What do you mean? Is it, do you like hypothetically implement the alternative? Sure. Or is this some sort of both. 
So, okay, so... Um, like, the two aren't mutually exclusive. So, the alternative is to, like, let queer people do what they want to do. Uh, it's radical queer negation, so, like, advocating for ourselves and for everyone else. Right? right, so why can't we do the affirmative and the Because of the links? Do you want me to go through them? Like, okay. we would say that your affirmation of subjectivity is problematic also... How do we, uh, how do we affirm? Uh, I mean, without addressing or like using forms of like Blair, um, their subjects should do X or individuals should do X without addressing. Wait, where does the affirmative say that individuals should do X? I mean, the affirmative gives individuals the ability. Okay, but to even so, you're not. Person. Okay, even so, that's still not a response to the yep argument, which is that sociality itself. You are not challenging the foundations of sociality. What is sociality? Sociality is like society, how we view ourselves, how we view others, how we like interact with. How does the alternative challenge this? Uh, so we would say that there are, or uh, sociality currently works to suppress queers, to create us as the abject. What the alternative does is it creates a space wherein we do not have to like function in a way that society wants. It is a rage against those machines that want us to like function in certain ways. Okay. What if there? What if there's queer people that prefer the affirmative, or prefer the world? To well, then you would still end up voting negative because that is a choice for the queer individual Wait, to make. Like, or an imposition. Right, so can't do that in the status quo because of the inherency which you can see it. Like, I would still say that the like negative doesn't preclude those, like... No, I mean, so the whole... What was the question again? Okay, that's fine. Let's go to the affirmative case. You make this argument about how policy can't deal with trans people being murdered on the streets. Or it hasn't. Right. How does allowing queer bodies to do what they want resolve this structural... Uh, uh, so we would say that structural oppression of queer bodies is based upon these forms of sociality and based upon the social war that we are currently not uh, fighting in. Rather, we are being fought upon. Wait, where, point to one line in... Like, um, one line the in entirety of the Mary Nardini gang right, evidence sure, is making that claim. Point in the critique which indicates that the alternative can actually change sociality. I would... Well, let me get... To to the page. A single one. Okay. Uh, queer people must commit ourselves to a scrutiny of naive utopian formations, emphasizing the power of queer negativity to reject insufficient futures. Queer does always capitulate the social okay, rather than social That's not what would happen post alternative. Sure, fine. you can make that argument. What is your strategy uh, under the rule of thumb? Do you have a strategy? My strategy is policy making. I think that's a good way to. My strategy is rejection of the rule of thumb. How long have you been doing this alternative? Okay. Like, 
I can't remember when it started reading it. So, how has rejection of the world actually done anything outside of the gates of life? I mean, I'm out of the How long does it take for us to reject the world? I haven't fully done it. It is something that has not been done yet. Okay, Probably, like, oh, like, it can't give you a concrete answer for how long we have to reject the world for this is for. Case nope. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so uh, case just top down from framework to contention to underview and then critique. Is everyone good? I'll sign those. Uh, also, there's going to be an overview at the top. Yeah. They have conceded multiple uh, uh, arguments in the 1AC, which indicate that you should prefer policymaking over uh, critical education insofar as I extend those. You automatically uh, vote affirmative because I'm the only policy option uh, in this debate, right? Also, don't allow them to make new 2NR responses. It wasn't in the 1NC. The 2NR is too short to cover new 2NR uh, arguments. Now, what are the rolled about? Except the Nixon 2K evidence. You have not interacted with any warrants in the 1AC. They rolled about us to vote on the best policy option. Role playing as policymakers teaches us and see skills that we can take in the real world to contest a uh, ton of screwed up things. You simply say that people raping is the uh, root cause and laws don't cause sexual assault, but our argument is that uh, currently the lack of policymakers in the policy or in a passing laws to uh, challenge sexual assault is what is perpetuating sexual assault. If we uh, effectively challenge sexual assault from the legal arena, this deters individuals from engaging in activities that support sexual assault. Uh, our Nixon evidence indicates that currently the political is screwed up and that uh, we can challenge it and effectively create sexual assault legislation to actually resolve material uh, material impacts in the real world, like trans people uh, dying on the streets. You say that. Uh, well, the rollabout is the best method of dealing with existence, but a policy focus is key. You don't indicate uh, clearly as to why simply ending the world does anything. You've read the alternative multiple times in the past, but that doesn't give us anything. You should uh, probably air out on the rollabout debate, because if we actually contest and learn about policies, then uh, we can take skills and go into the real world and actually advocate for specific policy options that do have a chance of resolving material impacts. Next, you say that policy can't deal with the issue of trans people being killed, but uh, you don't explain how radical queer negation can uh, solve this either, because you don't explain how this change anyone's uh, changes anyone's mindsets means the alternative also links to the uh, critique because you can never change sociality itself. You don't change anyone's mindsets. You yes, you open up a space for queer bodies, but that doesn't change any mindsets. Now go to the plan. Extend uh, first. Go to the Brian Twelve evidence that's conceded. Extend the Brian Twelve evidence, which takes out the entirety of the critique. Multiple warrants. First, uh, they they just engage in abstract questioning, which is infinitely regressive, regressive and distracts us from creating concrete solutions that can actually silence their impacts. And second, is their their criticisms are imprisoned in academia. They stay within places like the debate space, yet never interact with the populace. Attempting to legitimately create change means their impacts are inevitable because their uh, movement will never gain power. Next, you can see the Mitchell 2K evidence, which indicates that role-playing as public actors allows us to learn more about the identity of various students and examine issues from multiple perspectives, which is key to incite change. Role-playing teaches us that students have the capacity to create change, i.e. creating nonprofits to uh, fight economic injustices. We learn those sort of things from defending a uh, policy-making world about which you have conceded. These are uh, all conceded arguments. Now go to the contention. Big sexual harassment definitions incentivize prioritizing compliance to Title IX due to the threat of losing funding rather than challenging campus rape culture. That's DeVore 15. We narrow this definition. Uh, we amend this definition to de-restrict non-abuse of sexual harassment speech, allowing for productive discussions. That's AUP 16. And uh, go to the rape law advantage. Extend AUP 3. Professors are hesitant to teach rape law due to universities shutting down campus sexual assault discourse, but rape law discourse is vital for social pro uh, progress. Extend Denmark 14. Sexual assault survivors will lose court cases because their attorneys aren't prepared and classes independently fight gender and racial stereotypes. You say we don't solve rape, uh, uh, just academic freedom, but no, you conceded that the uh, discussion in the classroom not only changes courts, but also uh, creates a cultural shift within the university and changes uh, people's mindsets. That's the agenda. Uh, that's calling it after the right next. You say that need uh, that people need to be able to talk about queerness, but we uh, are the internal link to this uh, discussion. We allow free uh, free discussions of queerness on campuses through uh, the affirmative. You say police, but we don't say that going to the police is good. Uh, now go to the critique. First off, the uh, yet 13 evidence. We give the
the ability for queers to uh, do the alternative because we give uh, certain queer bodies want the affirmative, the uh, affirmative gives them that meaning, turn to the app, and then the uh, alternative is key. The alternative simply opens up a space for queer bodies. We uh, give them the potential to use the affirmative to challenge sexual assault. If they want to go to court, they can, but we don't uh, force them to go to the court. Next is that uh, you also, uh, we also change the broader campus rape culture, meaning there are uh, arguments for why we simply look to the legal system. Uh, don't like second is that the ultimate is not solved because you don't change anyone's mindset. Uh, cross sex groups, there's not a single line in the one and see which indicates that uh, doing the alternative changes sociality. Handling of the links on the criteria is going to be why you're losing around. Yep, was a link, but not all of the links. You can extend the Korean 1990 evidence that the well, in the face of war predicated upon the destruction of Korea's refuse to participate in your militant regime to find the truth. We advocate for the alternative that just radical Korean Asian will form a senseless war against everyone else. You never have any impacts back to free liberation. Rather, you only are you or any form of liberation. Rather, you only find liberation through the legal systems. You never give any other alternative. You say that you can do both, but you only focus on legal alternatives within the affirmative. Always is going to be creating these forms of. 
of pedagogy where we're in, we talk about rape or when we talk about actually challenging rape, we only do it through forms of legal, or we only think about it through forms of legal reform, but that does not address all of the cause of rape, uh, that doesn't address all of the cause of rape, nor do you have any, uh, or nor do you have any evidence that actually teaching it would be able to sh significantly shift to stop rape. You can extend the Korean Nation 1990 evidence that's also going to function as another link because your possible political program of the EC is always something that's fundamentally unavailable to queer on to the point this is also the purpose going to function as a link when you are saying or you were saying that we have to do the affirmative first and then because you're functionally a sidelining queer issues of queerness by saying no we have to actually focus on the real issues first and B you are fundamentally misunderstanding that for queers there is no future we have no tomorrow you can always push back and say no next time I, we have, just have to pass one more piece of legislation before the social work can happen but rather we say we're only going to affirm ourselves not any dumb piece of legislation that is not going to actually change anything on you can extend the Mary Nardini gang evidence of position queers that negative so child testing after rejection must be at war with the one I see these forms of normativity or and productivity within this are always going to be something that's harmful in recreating these issues of heteronormativity you're never going to be able to get out of links also you didn't do any work in the practicality link which was a helpless name evidence that takes out the entirety of your frame because you're like no we have to have real world change we say that being queer doesn't allow for these forms of real world change this was completely dropped out alone to make new arguments on this because I don't have to the three in order to actually respond to the or to respond to them this is going to be taking out the entire the AC framing of that we have to do what is most practical rather is unpractical to be queer is unpractical to have these forms of liberation we have to look to queer liberation before we look to anything else and the key again evidence is going to be so good in this round because it's saying that before we can have any form of effective political change we have to destroy the world we have to have these forms of war not work with some of the key evidence also the key evidence does have a specific line that I was getting to in it or that I was going that I was getting to in cross sex about how it has a how it has the ability to actually change or has the ability to create actual change. The queer does not capitulate through the social, rather the social is ended through queer transformation, clearing the way for something more expansive, i.e. before we can have any form of reform, or we can, before we can actually do any of the, like, uh, any of the post-fiat, like, part of the plan, we have to destroy everything first, makes the, uh, makes the K a prerequisite, don't make it make new firms in the next speech that we can do both, but because we have to have this war against the social before we can even consider doing that, this was completely dropped. You're going to be voting negative right there. Don't allow them to make new arguments against negative utopias within the next speech because that's really abusive. On to the AC. All of your arguments for why policymaking are good are not a reason why we can only look to policymaking. Rather, there have to be other forms of liberation. We do not only exist within legal course. Rather, we have existence outside of that. You never make or never make the argument that this is the only way that we can find liberation. Rather, I give another liberation strategy that doesn't function through policy. Brian evidence doesn't say what you think it does. It is talking about uh, like uh, ontol or uh, object-oriented ontology within that evidence, but that doesn't matter because none of that wing was done about why uh, like queer negation isn't a uh, like concrete policy. You don't ever define what a concrete policy is. But also, you define what productive discussions are always just going to be excluding individuals who don't want to have discussions about legal boundaries. This is a completely dropped argument. That means you are always going to be excluding survivors of sexual assault who want to talk about it but don't want to go to court. You say that you can, uh, that you don't have to go to the police within the affirm, but that's the only type of solvency that you're talking about. That is never going to be able to actually solve for people who don't want to go to the cops, who don't want to have to be, or who don't want to like go to, through the legal system or even... Yeah, like you are only focused upon this one specific instance without understanding that there are individuals who find liberation outside of these or uh, outside of the, spe or, uh, the specifics of going to, to court. You only care about survivors when they act in a way that is fundamentally the same. Also, you don't have any really good evidence on why professors teaching this actually makes white men scared to be in classroom spaces as non-white men are. When we enter into these spaces, we are scared for ourselves when we see a group of white men, but you don't ever actually make them scared. This is probably going to be a better method of solvency by actually engaging in this war against sociality, against the against the normative. We will be able to make white men scared again. That is probably going to be more beneficial than redefining specific terms within Title IX. Also, you don't solve for anything outside of the university campuses. You have no solvency for the affirmative because you are only dependent upon legal modes that don't affect people who or, or don't affect individuals who either can't or don't want to go through these changes. You just say that legal changes actually affect what or like how we or like classroom changes affect legal changes but that doesn't mean that there are forms of liberation or that we're actually going to be redressing how sexual assault impacts the individual you are not opening up centers you are only saying that we are going to be changing the law you should be uh, advocating for something else uh, so this is a really clear round Keegan was completely dropped it means you're going to be voting for the negative first before we can have any type of post-fiat 
stuff. We have to destroy the entire world. We have to engage in these forms of negative utopia to be able to actually understand what having a liberatory future of queerness would look like. You can extend the alternative, which is uh, radical queer negation, negating everything else in this world, war against uh, negating everything except ourselves in this war against everyone else. Uh, you can extend the practicality link, which was completely dropped. No work was done on it. Don't let him stand up and say, no, we have to look to what's most practical. He didn't do any work there. Don't do that work for him. But, uh, Is everyone ready? Okay. Uh, there's going to be a, a long overview at the top. I would flow that on, an, on another sheet of paper. Is everyone good? I won't go for the permutation. This debate is now a question of competing methods. Is policy making better to help queer people or is ending the world better? We are winning this debate for two major reasons. First, the Brian evidence is going 100% conceded. Their negative utopia cannot challenge the tangible violence queer bodies face in the one and see they talk about trans people dying in the streets, but uh, in this debate they never explain as to how radical queer rejection can uh, resolve this passing legislation to help them is key. Simply theorizing about queer bodies won't stop them from dying in the streets. And second is that their ivory tower criticism are imprisoned in academia. They created an echo chamber. The K is only discussed in academia, but you never interact with the populace attempting to legitimately create change. Means their impacts are inevitable because their movement will never gain power. And so far as Brian is conceded, the uh, K automatically goes away because it takes out any notion of abstract uh, theorizing. And they say that we have conceded a couple links, but all of them are articulated as political change ineffective and practicality bad. I made arguments in the 1AR for why practicality and policy making is key to help queer bodies more than the alternative can means that if I win those arguments for why policy making is key, uh, you don't vote on the conceded links, I link turn them in the 1AR. If I, if I win that policy making is a good tool to help queer bodies, that takes out the links to the critique. Now, you've also conceded that the alternative cannot change sociality. Ending the world won't change people's mindsets. I asked them in cross -ex, they couldn't point to a single line in the uh, 1 and C which indicates that a radical queer rejection or the notion of a negative utopia can change people's mindsets and actually uh, change to reshape sociality. Therefore, uh, there it's try or die for the affirmative because you conceded that the alternative can never solve, but you ending the world won't change anyone's mindset. That's now go to the roll of the ballot, extend Nixon and TK, roll of the ballot is to vote on best policy option. Role playing as policymakers teach us advocacy skills that we can take into the real world to uh, contest a ton of screwed up things. The uh, question you have to ask yourself at the end of the round is what is better, us uh, being policymakers in the debate space and learning about different forms of legislation that we can then take into the real world to challenge real world material violence, or whether you're talking about ending the world in debate can do anything, but they don't explain the uh, value of ending the world in the debate space uh, and implementing that into the real world. Now go to the uh, app specifically. Uh, asked specifically, you can see that vague sexual harassment definitions incentivize prioritizing compliance to Title IX due to the threat of losing funding rather than challenging campus rape culture. That's to bar 15, extend AUP3. Professors are hesitant to teach rape law due to universities shutting down campus sexual assault discourse, but rape law discourse is vital for social progress. Extend Denmark 14, sexual assault survivors will lose court cases because their attorneys aren't prepared in classes independently fight gendered racial stereotypes. We allow all forms of sexual assault discourse on campuses. Not only uh, do we allow discourse about the courts, all their arguments for why we 
solely focus on the legal focus on the legal system is incorrect because we also allow queer bodies a space on universities. They can freely talk about sexual assault. They don't have to interact with legislation in order to access the app strategy. They can simply talk about sexual assault. The app is not specific to courts. That's one advantage to the app. We also allow a free discussion of sexual assault on campuses, which is silenced in the status quo. All the arguments for why abstraction is bad takes out the critique, and the app is a better method. We politically open up a space for queer bodies.
these ideas of practices and other, like there are multiple facets of your uh, method of engaging. And so I think that your really strong in some methods, which are like, oh, for us to engage in something that is material, something that does involve policy, is important, right? But I think the Nixon part is actually kind of like not super good on this question. Like, is role playing good in the state? Is um, policy necessarily something that comes down from on high? Because it even talks about policy making as from like an individual or community based level. So I think that you need to get more specific answers to these sorts of questions of like, what does policy making do in specifically in the context of like, oh, there's this other layer of the role playing, us being in debate, and fiat being. Getting ahead of those questions, I think, can posit your articulation of why policy making is crucial to being involved stronger. And then when I look at it, like I think that there are multiple to that. So um, particularly with cognition and practicality, this idea that to engage in pursuit of your body necessarily, like policy makers would not know what to do, and so like, you have to kind of legislate because they're um, preoccupied with cognition and practicality. And so when they legislate. Way, that can do violence to queer bodies who are not necessarily like non-productive, or seen as non-productive, seen as not heteronormative, seen as not being like, this idea of like fertility being back in the day. So I think that you're losing a lot of ground. I think that um, you need to articulate on behalf better a dissent to the alternative. Um, normally dissent is like, well, it's kind of vague, it's not a real, like it's not going to be enacted, it's only in the act. Realm, but I think that like the key part is pretty specific. Um, well, actually, I, I have two comments here. Um, one is I think that their articulation is it is real world, it is material. People are you know doing this on an individual or community basis, like rejecting, um, you know, enacting queer activity and for, for, for people. The text is a little off. Um, but I think second. Thank you.